Um, this is going to be about identifying different types of triangles. Um, the first thing you need to know is in order for something to be a triangle, the two smaller sides must add up to be greater than the largest side. So you couldn't have like a triangle with side lengths 1, 1, and 3 because, again, th the third side can't be bigger than the other two combined. Uh, the other thing you need to know is that with um, the relationship between side lengths and angles, the bigger the angle, the bigger the side length across from it. So the biggest side matches the biggest angle. The smallest side matches the smallest angle. Um, and then the other thing is you need to know that the three inside angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So for example, if you had 60, 20, the last one would have to be 100. Now there's three types of triangles in terms of side relationships. There's scalene triangles, which means no sides are equal. Isosceles has two sides are equal. And equilateral has all sides are equal. Keep in mind that if there's equal sides, they also have to be equal angles. Okay. Now a right triangle is one where a squared plus b squared equals c squared. An acute triangle is a triangle where you have all angles that are less than 90 degrees. Um, this occurs when you, if like kind of like the Pythagorean theorem, if a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, then it's acute. If a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, then it's obtuse. And in all of these cases, C is seen as the longest side, and A and B are seen as the two smaller sides. So we're going to go ahead and look at the first triangle. So if we have two sides that are equal, 5 and 5, that means the angles also have to be equal. All right, so we have two equal angles and two equal sides. So this obviously has to be isosceles um, because it's two equal angles, two equal sides. Now the angles in this, if you if you know that the three of them have to add up to 180 degrees, well, if one of them's 30, that means the other two have to make 150. Well, if, if they're equal, that means each one has to be 75 degrees. So if you notice, their three angles are 75, 75, and 30. So this is also an acute triangle because all three angles are acute. So it's an acute triangle and also an isosceles triangle. All right, now the next triangle we have, if you notice, we have three sides, three, four, and five. So we know it's going to be scalene. No sides are equal. Um, but in order to tell right, acute, or obtuse, we're going to have to do like a Pythagorean theorem. So we do the smaller side squared plus each other and set it, figure out how it's related to the larger. So when you do it, you end up finding that they're both equal. Since a squared plus b squared equals c squared, that means it must be a right triangle. So this is going to be a right triangle and a scalene triangle. None of the sides are equal, and it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay. So um, the third triangle that we'd be looking at is, uh, okay, so we're given the three side lengths again. So we have um, two, four, and three. Uh, none of those are equal. So it's got to be a scalene triangle. Uh, so now we're going to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared and see if it come, what happens. So a squared is 4, b squared is 9. 4 and 9 make 13. Now since 13 is smaller than 16, that means it must be obtuse. Because then if, if the longest side is bigger, if the c squared is bigger than a squared and b squared, then it's it means it has a, an angle bigger than 90, so it's obtuse. Okay, So this is an obtuse triangle that is also scalene. And that's how you identify the different triangles.